Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm recording this video kind of late because I've been busy all day, so it's recording tonight. Anyways, um, I'm not going to do a review this week, which is different. I don't, you know, I normally do reviews and I finished two books since doing my last review, but I kind of want to do something different for this video. So, actually, my next two videos are not going to be reviews. The reviews will start back up on February 7th, but I'm going to do a special video on the 31st to, you know, January wrap up of everything that I've been reading, my February, the books that I want to read in February, so on and so forth. Anyways, um, today I kind of wanted to do, or tonight, I'm recording this video at like 9 o'clock at night. Ah, yay! Um, anyways, what I was going to say was, I'm going to be discussing all the different bookish related challenges that I'm going to do. I know it's like the end of January, everyone says that kind of stuff at the beginning, but I'm like, eh, I've been just getting used to all this video format. So anyways, the I'm only doing two challenges this year, because I'm just like, eh. I could do more, but I think two is a good, good starting point for challenges. Um, I'm going to be doing the Goodreads challenge, as per usual, you know, the one where you, everyone and their mother does, the one where you say on Goodreads how many books you're going to read this year. Last year I had set my goal at 30, and I'm sure I passed that in the number of picture books I read that year, but I didn't really keep track or anything, so I'm just like, eh let's actually keep track this year and yeah let's actually keep track and not lose track of how many books you're reading and I'm not counting picture books since I read those for work <laughs> um, yeah. oh my neck hurts okay anyways so my goal last year was at 30 no idea if I met it or not, but I want to say I didn't. I kind of got like in a reading slip last year, so just like for months until actually I read Hurtless. Like I'm still reading um, the second Magnus Chase book, and I started that back like in October. And yeah, I like I got it when it came out, and I still haven't finished it. It's like somewhere in my room, but whatever. Yeah, so I'm still reading that, and then I'm also, so yeah, I was just in a big reading slump last year, so this year my goal is five more books than last year, it's 35, um, I'm like one book ahead of schedule, so I feel pretty darn good, and I'm still, like, this is the book I'm currently reading right now, My Family for the War, it's pretty good, you know. That's how much I read out of it, and then, like I started it a few days ago, so like it's really good. So hopefully that'll be added to my complete list. And woo! And I only started it because I had another book I was currently reading, and I left it at work. It's like um, I need something to read until I can get that book back. Well, my other work, not the, not. Not the preschool, but my other work. I mean, they're also great retail. And the registers are boring, so I bring a book sometimes. Oh, those two. Anyways, so that's my Goodreads goal. 35 books this year. Woo! I can do it. I know I can. Yay! And then, the other challenge I decided to do this year was a diversity bingo. Uh, Cause you know, like everyone else, I wanted to read more diverse. I wanted to more read more own voices books, and diversity bingo is fun. They have it set up so like you fill in these squares. So, yeah, I actually colored in the square because that was the book I read. Yay! And then like you fill in these squares, and like each square has like four. One of them is like retelling with the main character or belonging, belonging to LGB 
TQIA plus and um like you'd pick a retelling of a fairy tale or a story or something like that with a character who fits that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. Um and then you just colored and like the one I color um like the one I finished was the person of color on the cover. And like I was kind of like debating of where to put that one and I decided to go with that because it did and that one is the blossoming universe of violet diamond and I will have a review of coming up that as well it's gonna be after my next review so it won't be coming until like three or four more weeks three more weeks me I know because I don't know how often I would do videos yet and how much time I have and yeah but yeah and like, I've, it's created by the awesome people set up there. I will have a link to the sheet in my description down there if you want to do it and whatnot. But yeah, it's it's great. Like it's, I think it's a fun and creative way to make sure you have different diverse reads this year. And definitely some of them are like own voices like they really encourage the own voices like let's see there's a few of them like pansexual main character own voice which I'm having a really hard time finding um which is why we need more diverse books in that like it really does call attention like if you can't find a book fitting that specific category it calls to the attention yeah we really do need diverse books so yeah the goal is to fill up like the entire bingo sheet throughout the entire year which would be fun I'll probably print out multiple copies of this just because I'm sure the first one will get ruined but yeah it so the Goodreads challenge and then diversity bingo the two um things I'm going the two challenges I'm going to be doing this year yeah so let me know if there's any challenges that you are participating in this year and how that's going. So far, I think they're going smoothly. But you know, it's only been a month into the year, so we have the time will tell. Anyways, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, all my social media links are going to be down below, and we'll see you next time in the next video.